very strong support level in the Facebook market provides an opportunity to enter long trade. Hello guys, it's uh, Jacob from Finate and we will analyze uh, this market to find a decision if it's good to enter trade or not. We'll start with a trend line from a weekly chart. If you connect uh, pivot low from 2013, exactly July, and uh, December 2018, you'll get a very strong trend line and you can see market stopped there at the trend line. So we have a first information that uh, this long term trend line works. The second information is that uh, we can see some uh, some pin bar there maybe or a doji bar. We'll switch the daily chart later to uh, make a decision if it's a pin bar or not. But at this point you can see that there is some weak and low body, so there is some rejection maybe. The third information is that, that we are in a channel. Look, we have some trading range here and it's a rising channel. We have higher high than this high. And we have a higher low, so we are in a rising channel or in a trading range. And at this time, we are at the border of the trading range. Okay, so we have, I can say, big opportunity to enter trade because we will probably go to the middle of the trading range. If you look at the volume profile left, you can see that. The fairest price or the point of control was in the middle, 178, okay, price. So it's something like a magnet for the market. So we will probably hit the point of control. So again, we have a trend line, very strong trend line. Mar market stopped there. There is some rejection, some, some maybe pin bar, we'll see. We have a zone there on the volume profile. So it means we have a low volume node here. So what's a low volume node? Well, it's a place where market didn't want to stay. Let's say, let's to explain that this way. Uh, market didn't want to stay there. So the price was rejected very quickly. There was no volume on that price or very small volume compared to the point of control here. So the price was rejected market spend there less time so we have a zone we have a rejection we have a trend line and we are in channel as i mentioned we are at the border of the value area market has tendency to bounce off of the border back to the middle or even uh, almost to the top so what's our maximum profit target well, that's the border of value area, around 205. Market dropped very fast downside. And as I mentioned in the previous video, market has tendency to fill the areas that were traded very quickly. Okay, with, let's say, no volume. So, if the market goes higher, I can say that we can fill almost this gap. Okay? Look, 208 is is the gap, okay? So I think we can go, if the market go higher, we can fill this gap. So we have really enough space to earn some profits. Okay, trend line, zone, some rejection. We are at the border of value area. We have a trend line, we have a point of control. So now we'll switch to daily chart. Look. We'll talk about uh, the rejection, okay? Market opened in this bar with a gap. Look, there is the previous close and there is the open. And after open, it immediately went higher. So the rejection was very fast from the zone, from the low volume node, from the trend line, from uh, the border of uh, the trading range. It was very fast rejection 
So for me, it's not a typical um, weekly chart, dodgy bar. But I can say yes, that's a pain bar because I have a rejection there on a daily chart. Look, there is a one to three pattern. One, two, three pattern here, okay? And it's it went higher a little bit. Now we see some retracement. I missed that trade, but I can place order now or today because from the long perspective I can see that uh, I can see that we have more power to go to the, to the long side because we have some low volume area above the market so we will have tendency to fill the area we have strong support we have one two three pattern here we have strong rejection during this time it's difficult to follow the plan because of the coronavirus, because of the completely crazy behavior of the market. But the, this is the main goal, to follow your plan. You have to follow your plan, because the, that's the only way how to be successful in a trading. So maybe I'm afraid, I'm afraid because I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But never mind, I'll enter a trade because I've analyzed the trades, the market, and I can see that I have very good support here. But I have a stop loss, so if something happens, the market will break down. Never mind, it hit my stop loss. I look for another opportunity. So, especially during this rough time, follow your plan. It's the only way how to be a successful trader in the market. That's the reason why I have a question mark here. I really don't know if the market will go higher or not. I can say maybe or maybe not. So it depends. Many traders say a market must go, market will go, market have to go. But uh, I, I can recommend to avoid these words because you really don't know where market goes. If it goes higher or lower, you cannot know that. Thank you for your attention, guys. I hope you received some good information about this market and uh, wish you good trading. Have a nice day. Bye.